Greetings to my brethren of uh, Silver Age comic book collecting and once owning. This is a book that I came upon. I'll show you how thick it is. Came upon a few years ago, maybe in a antique store, <coughs> garage sale, something like that. Probably an antique store. Anyway, uh, Spellbound album. It's British. Uh, it's pretty old. I should have check the date on here to see what year it is uh I don't, let's see uh 1964 wow okay anyway this i do believe collects a lot of uh late 1950s uh horror comics i'm assuming primarily marvel at the time uh, unfortunately, I mean, there's a Jack Kirby cover, uh, from the famous beloved monster story, Krang, and, uh, unfortunately, the only Kirby story in here is Krang, but what I love is that, you know, it's in black and white, pen and ink, it's, you know, it's not, uh, encumbered by crappy, shitty colors, I mean, you know. We all have a place in our heart for comic book colors, original colors. But anyway, I love the Marvel Essentials because it shows us what the art looks like. The art from the artist and the inker. And this is beautiful. Love it. Jack Kirby and, of course, Dick Ayers. Sorry about my neighbors in the background. They're enjoying the summer, or this summer weather at least. Uh, anyway, so I love this book. But then, uh, you know, the rest of the stories are by artists I'm not really too familiar with. Like 1950s artists. Uh, this one is uh, uh, Doug Wildey. I'm familiar with him. Okay, so we have him. Beautiful work. Again, straight pen and ink. No colors. But then, uh, the rest of it, i got to be honest, quite quite a bit of it looks like uh, Joe Sinnott. And there is one story that is credit, credited to Joe Sinnott, but uh, I think a lot of it's Joe Sinnott. This is not Joe Sinnott. Lord knows who this guy is. He's got kind of a, a ghastly kind of look. The artist ghastly. Also, the work is kind of ghastly. Uh, whoever this guy is, he's got a really nice, bold, vintage-era ink style that I kind of like. Okay, and then this goofball here, the artist C.A. Winter. Anybody familiar with him? Kind of like his work. Kind of has a goofy Ditko look. Very look at that face. That's kind of cool. Yeah, look at that. Look at the styles. Again, kind of cartoonish but grim. Foreboding. Look at all the darks. Curious Giro. Look at that. That's very EC. What the hell's happening down there? The guy's climbing up on a trellis. Uh, these faces are tremendous. Insane Asylum, the end. <laughs> How do you have pity for Ignatz Kosar? Great face. Uh... More stuff. Uh, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say this is Senate. But uh, maybe these are British artists. Maybe some of these are British guys. They just kind of mixed it in with the, with the American late 50s Marvel horror stuff. Okay. More gruesome looking art. Ooh, boy, look at that rat. A lot 
a hard, hardcore inking here with a crow quill or something. Okay, I'm going to skip over most of this. Okay, yeah, see this is starting to look like Senate to me. Again, the noses and the eyes on the women. I mean, the noses on the men, but the eyes on the women. Very Senate-like. Then it gets kind of goofy on this page. But that woman's face is totally Joe Senate. Weird hand, though. Okay, and I am totally convinced this is Senate. I mean, those are Senate faces. Senate, Senate, uh, fabric. I love this work, whoever it is, and I do believe it's Joe Senate. Very nice. I have to confess, the only story I've read is Krang, which I read many years ago as a kid. Look at that, that face right there, that profile. That's, that's totally Joe Senate. Looks like, what's his name? The actor, uh, uh, Mitchum. Okay. Yeah, more stuff that looks like Senate. Nice work, nice storytelling. Nice film noir. Translated on on newsprint. And here's a great shot. Look at that. Okay. Who did the talking heads first? Uh, Kirby or Senate? Anyway. Look at that shot. This is beautiful. I'm telling you. Joe Senate was the man. Joe Senate. See, that's why... You know, him and Kirby were such a good team because they were both great artists. You gotta be a great artist to be a great inker. That's my philosophy. Okay, and this story here, again, this looks like this looks like Joe Sennett. Especially that kid's face right there. That's so jolting Joe. Look at that nose. But you know what? Uh, it's like the inking looks like, uh, of all people, Don, Don Heck. Looks like pencil Joe Sennett inking Don Heck. I'm probably way off. Look at that. That looks, that looks kind of Don Heckish to me. Maybe not. Well, it's such a thin line. It's very traditional Don Heck. It's thin line, but then there's thick darkness, too. Look at the folds. Look at all that time put into shading. Shading with, with pen and ink with a crow quill. Yeah, I just wouldn't have had the stamina for the little bit of money. I would, I'd probably be getting paid. That's a dedication to the craft. That's a nice shot. I'm not too sure about that nose, though. Okay. More of this team that, to me, look at that. That's so Don Heck. Okay. Again, this looks like Joe Sennett pencils, Don Heck ink. Who knows? One of those guys is in here somewhere. Beautiful. Great, great hand. You know, that hand looks like a... Uh, what's his name? Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's some George Tuska in here. Maybe some Johnny Craig. I don't really know. I'd love to find out. I guess I can run a Google on the name of the story. If anybody knows, 
Please share that information. Okay, this dude right here, this artist, his name is Al Luster. Looks like that's what it says. Al Luster. Okay. Fantastic art. Not mad at this art. Great storytelling. Great, nice, dark, scary, weird storytelling and imagery. Ah, look at the rat. <laughs> From a rat's eye view. Fantastic. Look at that. Oh, that's tremendous. I'm into this. I dig it, man. Oh, look at that. Nice nightmarish looking sequences. Okay. Look at that council. Huh. Xenon, I've never heard of such a planet. Then let me ask you this. In what year did the first spaceships land on Pluto? I, 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 I don't know. How could I? Lovely stuff. Okay, that looks like ghastly right there again. That split shadow. Poor wretch, how they fight it. An extreme case of projected fantasy and violent hallucination. Thank heavens our methods are painless. The poor devil won't feel a thing. Okay, and this story right here is credited to Joe Sennett, as you see there. So, I'm definitely onto some Sennett here. Maybe one of the first stories he ever signed. Interestingly enough, I might not have identified this as Joe Sennett. Of all the stories in here. It's eh, so so work. It's okay. Ooh, look at the hands. Look at the gloves. Who will make the first bid? Will you? Uh, this totally looks like Senate to me. This is a bit more matured Senate, very clean, very detailed Senate. This is gorgeous work. This is totally Joe Senate. This is the Joe that I know. This is Joe knocking it out of the park. Beautiful. Lovely. Just lovely. Beautiful stuff. Man, you know, the effort those artists those artists put into telling us a, a story back then, for ten cents you you could buy walk away with three or four great stories beautifully illustrated for ten cents. Look at that guy's plaid suit. I would so wear that now. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Looks like the uh, the lapel is not plaid. How fucking awesome is that? Look at that. That's a Joe Sinnott face there. I don't know about hers, though. Beautiful. Oh, there's that suit again. Wait, so it's supposed to be the... Okay, he took off his plaid suit, put on another suit. Okay, that's a workman suit. Got it. 
great stuff. Oops. Try to sneak by me. I thought that was the end of the story. So another story that start. Oh, still going on. Tom Brainy Nelson plunges to death, posing as window cleaner. Missing jewels found next to his dead body. All right, mystery solved. Uh, this one isn't credited to anybody. Uh, this kind of could be Joe Sennett as well. I don't think so, though. Maybe somebody like Joe. What's his name? Joe Manley? Guy that worked with Simon and Kirby. That's a great panel. That certainly looks like Senate inking. Classic blam blam. Book down. Oh wait, that that man's head looks like an old school, early '60s Joe Sennett. Yeah, this kind of looks like Sennett, all right. Yeah, there's some Sennett happening here. There's some Sennett flavor happening. Look at, look at the shape look at the proportions of that panel look at the shape there rat-a-tat-tat that's -tat. Jeff Columbine he did a stretch in the state penitentiary got the nickname of Hex there he was a superstitious crook. That's the end of him. That's the end of Tex, of Hex, I should say. And that's the end of this book. And here's the back cover. Very much the front cover. So anyway, Spellbound Album, 1964, British publication. Try to find some of these on uh, on eBay. Bye-bye.